Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with another tutorial and in this one we are going to uh, focus a little bit on this Future House project over here and we are going through the elements. Um, we have a complete playthrough video for this one so you can uh, check the description if you want to listen to the entire song and also those elements over here. But right now we are, let's have an overlook of the arrangement over here. We have uh, a side chaining channel over there, we have a kick channel over here, we have all the drums inside of this group. And I'm using a lot of different snare sounds because um, well, sometimes they need to cut through the mix and sometimes they need to be more like a deeper drum sound or something. So I really need more than only one snare sound over here. And um, over here there's a tiny vocals group where I put in some vocal chops and, and use them to replicate some melodies, some singing melodies. Um, over here we have a bouncy bass, a sub bass, um, a supporting group for some rhythm elements. And over here in the main group we have um, two operator instances of the Ableton operator, fifth stab is the preset over here and we are using some instances of Massive and down below we are using one and two instances of Silent One and then there's a little bit of white noise and we have some pads interacting with each other. So let's start with the drumming and let's go into action over here and um, select this loop and um, on our sidechain we are using simple sidechaining kick and it's not playing it's just a trigger for all the sidechaining information if you don't know what sidechaining is we have a separate video on our channel what is sidechaining it's the search string um, here we have a kick a clear and simple kick for future house does the job um, then we are also using over here we are using a reversed sample and it's kind of delayed it's like a reversed symbol um, we have a couple of snares not playing over here this one is just doing the second hit so that one is the snare roll and um, we are pitching the sample up, we are cutting off a little bit of the start over here and we are detuning it a little bit as well. Shaving off some low end and some high end and a little bit of ping pong delay applied and also a little bit of reverb applied on top. So if we look at the MIDI, that's our MIDI. See a little bit played around with the velocities over there to make it interesting. Um, the next sound is a tom sound. That's just uh, like the sub kick element. Let's play them all together now. The next element over here is a snare roll coming in. It's the fourth snare. It's pitched down a little bit and um, we have a little bit of EQing. We try to shave this off over here, this resonant part, and put on some reverb over here, a little bit of compression there and a little bit of side chaining in the end. Utility taking down the volumes and controlling the volumes somehow also here to make it louder and then there's a limiter just in case. So the MIDI we are playing is this. So um, that's the snare roll over here. Let's see what we cut out. It's quite interesting, maybe.
try to get out a little bit of this mud over here. The next element is uh, this snare over here. I think I, I got this from Chami Afterlife and he is doing something with his snares similar to this over here. So he's going bam ba rap. And um, then there's another snare over there. Adding some drive to the drumming. So if we were to play them all together again, so far, what we have so far. So it sounds pretty dry still, but let's go on. There's a symbol over here. Simple symbol. Working as a closed or open hi-hat over here. And we have this really houseish um, open hi-hat coming along here. And we are cutting out a little bit of the mid frequencies and adding in some of those frequencies over there. And then there's a small reverb on top. Just open up a little bit and very short decay time. And uh, and also we are adding in some not so rhythmic elements over here if you look at those hi-hats those additional hi-hats they're kind of off you know they're at positions where you don't really expect your hi-hat to sit in because it's kind of against the groove but um, I think Charmy does that sometimes and it's quite interesting and let's just mix it in there and see what happens Because if you go ahead and you just play this together with the kick, you're like, what? And we also have a clap over here. Always playing on 1.2 and it's just half a bar. So it's always playing there. A little bit of stereo widening with the chorus, uh, with the chorus effect from your Ableton here. And also a little bit of reverb and um, cut out some of the lower frequencies and then there's another pre-clap element over here just in front of the second clap adding in some groove so let's play them all together well only the drums group Okay, so that's the drum part over here. Um, what are the vocals doing? Let's have a look at the vocals quickly. There are some chops over here and I consolidated them. I played around with some... If you go to samples, for example, I have this Vengeance Vocal Shots pack over here, Vengeance Vocal Essentials 2. And you have those shots over here and you can really try to get them into your project. So I think I used some of those plug them in there so you see um, some effects on top chorus, simple delay, 
um, with a very short time over here and catching the peaks um, with a glue compressor to make sure it's not too peaky. And well, that's basically this uh, vocal group. And also inside of this vocal group, there at other parts, there are some interesting uh, plays with, uh, with lo longer sh vocal samples. So we have some heavy reverb and delay on those uh, three Vox samples. There's where I cut them out of some chorus kind of thing, and I just want them in front of the, the break over here. Yeah, so those vocals are there, they're a bit like in this Chummy track, so I try to replicate those uh, vocals a little bit, and then we have a couple of those um, quicker vocals over here, for example, in this, in this part, where, um, what are they doing over here? Play everything together over here. So if we just play the kick and we play those vocals, maybe we get a more consistent view of what is going on. So it's basically always the same pattern, but it's getting a little more interesting if you play around with shorter uh, chops over here, a little longer chop over there, and then really short chops again, and those really long over there. So that's how you make parts like those interesting, so it doesn't sound too looped, and too like I have one bar and I just looped it throughout the song. So in this in this way you can make it a little more interesting. Yeah, and the processing over here, for example, on those is a uh I'm trying to get out some of the lower end in the middle. Uh, it's in mid-side mode over here. I'm, I'm keeping it on the side, so I want to move it a little more to the side. And I'm also getting out those resonant parts over here. That's Okay, that's really nasty stuff. So we are trying to get that out. And then we have a little bit of an utility, not adding too much gain. And we have a reverb and a simple delay over here and the sidechain comes in the end because we don't want the sidechain to be kind of deactivated through delays afterwards so you really with with long delays and and reverbs if you want to apply the sidechain on everything it has to go behind them so let's wrap this up as the first part over here drums and vocals and in the next part we are going on with the upcoming elements over here if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.